The other thing to make sure is that I'm in focus, which is a bit hard to see. This week's music club takes me to a slightly different place. This week, I'm in the Holy Land, Richfield Avenue, AKA Reading Festival. Red Camp. It's officially four and a half weeks until I drag myself here with my best friend and my little brother, set up home for a weekend of loud music and liver abuse. And because of this, I've wanted to do a series of videos about what I'm most excited to see at this year's festival. It's all okay, you can see me in your glasses, isn't it? It's fine. Cool. It probably be. won't. So we've come and set up camp to brought ourselves to film a special edition of Music Club. So without further ado, this is the top four bands I'm most excited to see at Reading Festival 2018 Friday edition. I featured Wolf Alice on an early edition of Music Club. I first came across them in 2000. And, well, can, what year did Giant Peach come out? Fact check: 2015. My love is cool. 2015. Yeah. 2015 with the fucking awesome Giant Peach. <laughs> had such an anthemic sound to it. They then went on to release their, first, their debut album, My Love Is Cool, which featured their best single, Bros. Which is an incredibly nostalgic record about friendship. Last year, they teased us with two fantastic records and showed up at the Festival Public Tent for a not-so-secret secret set on a very hungover Sunday morning. This year, they're back to headline the radio one stage, so if Fallout Boy isn't your cup of tea, there's nothing to worry about, because Ellie & Co will be bringing full force to what is, in my opinion, the best venue in the world. The next band made it all the way into one of my Albums of the Year category for 2016. Why did they fucking turn that up then? I first came across them with their song Drive North. <laughs> West Coast American punk record about the hype machine that is Los Angeles. Their debut album had heavy hitter after heavy hitter, and each song on that record is my favourite at different stages. Playing, you bastard. Their album was produced by one of the members of Fiddler, and the punk rock super connection is that the drummer is the son of Billy Joe of Green Day. I think that Billy Joe could take a page out of his son's book because that's how you make a punk record. With what I can only hope is a follow-up album on the horizon, Swimmers will take to the Radio 1 stage on the Friday afternoon to remind us of what it all means to be a bit of a young punk. Now, Reading may be known as a bit of a guitar-driven festival, uh, with plenty of indie rock and punk bands to offer. In the last few years, the dance tent has grown in size, and so has its act. This year, one of the most exciting acts to take to the dance stage is the Danish-based Kolsch, or Kush. And the uh, O with the umlaut is a Kush. I first came across him with this absolute corker of a record, Grey. <laughs> which destroyed dance floors all across the world and gave me somewhat of a ray of hope that a French Electro House would be making a bit of a comeback. He's back with fellow DJ Tiger on a new record. And I'm sure it will cause the dance tent to take off. Last, but by no means least, is a band that's been in the back of my mind for over a year now. I first came across them in 2016 with their single Drongo. Is that right, Drongo? Drongo. Drongo, you fucking Drongo. I first came across them in 2016 with their single Drongo. And I've listened to radio DJs and other music outlets talk about them for the last couple of years. It wasn't until a couple of weeks ago when I came across FWTB, standing for fucking with the best, that I started paying attention. The sound reminds me of a crossover of Santi Gold and Skin Dread, seasoned with a sprinkling of royal blood. I agree, that would be a hell of a party. With a couple of EPs and a new one on the horizon, they're sure to bring some energy to the festival public stage on the Friday. This is by no means a full list of acts that I'm excited to see, just the top four. Other acts I look forward to include Kooks, The Wombats, The Blaze, Maggie Rogers, Annie Mac, The Used, Death From Above 1979, Bad Sounds, Ten Tons and Touts. Is there anyone in particular that you're excited to see this year? Comment below, I'm really intrigued to see. Are there any new bands that you think that are playing that I need to hear that haven't been mentioned uh, in the above list? I've added some playlists below to get you in the mood for this year's festival. We'll be dragging our ourselves here in, uh, in, in four weeks. If anyone's in my spot, I'm gonna be really upset with you. I'll be back next week with, my, with uh, the video for the Saturday. Uh, let me know what you think and what you're excited to see. Enjoy the festival. I'll be back for some music club in the future.